the lessig is a new gel, uh, almost the same as uh, as the the already marketed gel, uh, Libre Carbon Dopa Intestinal Gel, called the Duodopa in in Europe and uh, or in many countries and and Duopa in the US. Um, but this new gel uh, also contains another ingredient, which is Enterocapone, which is the COMT inhibitor. Uh, frequently used in oral tablets for for Parkinson's disease, um, so you could also call this new uh, new pump treatment uh, a floating salivo or something, uh, just to describe that it contains levodopa, anticapone, and carbidopa, and it is an intestinal gel uh, intended for pump infusion uh, through a peg system with a jejunal uh, tube, just like the the LCIG system. Yeah, we have used uh, Lessig, uh, the new pump, uh, here in Sweden since uh, uh, two years ago when it was approved. Uh, and also it's available in a few other uh, European countries so far. Um, it seems to work uh, fine, just uh, as expected like, uh, like uh, an ordinary liquid open infusion works. Um, there are, of course, some dif differences. So the ingredient anticapone is added to the, to the gel now, which makes, uh, um, well, we have to decrease the levodopa dose by 25 to maybe 35 percent. And according to our pharmacokinetic studies, um, uh, when we compare with the ordinary levodopa, carbidopa, intestinal gel, we should keep the morning doses unchanged and then decrease the, the infusion rates by 35 percent. But then you have to fine tune uh, for, for each individual as, as usual. The main difference for the patients is that uh, the pump used is a different kind. It's much smaller and lighter. And uh, that's something that all our patients have, have been happy with. The patient profile for, for this kind of pump is the same as for deep brain stimulation, uh, levodopa, carbidopa infusion, and epimorphine infusion. So any device-aided treatments in Parkinson's disease. Um, and then, uh, of course, uh, the treatment requires a PEG surgery, the same kind of PEG system that is used with, a, with the older version of the levodopa, carbidopa gel. Um, so otherwise, I mean, fluctuating patients with motor fluctuations, dyskinesias that are in need of either very frequent levodopa doses orally or an advanced treatment like this. Further studies are, are um, planned, um, of course. Um, there is a European project where Sweden is not a part, actually, but other countries in Europe are, are planning a um, quite large register-based study for, for um, this new gel. And also here in Sweden, we have our national registry where we are uh, collecting the so far around 100 patients, I think, on this treatment so far in Sweden. So I guess we will get much more information later on. So far, it's only we, we have only published three articles on this, uh, mainly a pharmacokinetic study. And then uh, uh, recently this, this year, an article on, on our first experience of our first 24 patients.